Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that what is the difference between the table and a range of cells in Microsoft Excel. So in the previous video, we have already seen that what is the benefit of creating a table in Microsoft Excel and what advantages it gives us. Now, uh, up till now, what have we been doing? We just um, entered some data. We provided it with a header. Then we added some formatting and that was used to be treated as our table. But that is not a table. It is exactly a range of data. Why is it called a range? Because if we just select it, you can see this is some data that exactly follows all those constraints that we were doing up till now. And if you just select over it, then you can see that we have got a range of cells in it. That is the first cell address and the last cell address. That's how it is um, used to associate. But actually it is a table. So first of all, I'm just going to convert it to a range. Yes. So now it is a range and you can see that it would be uh, referred by A1 to uh, F7. This is what this name is, but it is not a table. Now, what is the advantage of a table? We already know from our previous video that if anything is a table, then it has got a design tab and using design tab, we can do tons of operations over the table similar to those which we were doing with the pivot tables. So how can we create a table out of the data range that is given to us? The option is pretty simple. All you got to do is just select some cell which is inside your data range, then press control A. Now, once you do that, you got to see that whether your whole data range is selected or not. Yes, my whole data range is selected. Then what you got to do is just press control T from your keyboard. That is the shortcut for create table. When you do that, you will be asked that where is the data for your table, which is actually the data range. So which we have already selected and it would be highlighted with these dancing arrows. You can see. So you got to cross check once again, if you want, then make sure to check this option that my table has headers option to make sure that these headers are actually treated as column headings and then click on OK. Now, once you do that, you can see that you have got a design tab for yourself. Uh, this table has. Um, OK, so if you just go to this design tab, then you can see that this table is having a name as table one. And here are all these filtering options available. So if you just resize it. Now you can see it more clearly that all these filtering options are available. If you want to filter it by name, if you want to sh uh, sort it just by the names like this, then it is also available. If you only want to show Harvard and Morgan's data, you can click on OK. And you can see that only Harvard and Morgan's data is now visible. So actually, I'm going to clear the filters. Yes. And there is this predefined formatting also that is being applied, which you can, of course, change later. So that is a table. And if you want to recognize this table, then how can you recognize it? If you just go to this tab, here is this option of table one. If you click on it, you can see that this whole table is now highlighted. Now, there is an another advantage of this. If you are in some other sheet, suppose I'm in sheet five in this column, I'm doing some work and suddenly I realize that I need to get to table one. I know the name of my table that is table one and I want to go to it. Then I can just go to it right here, select this table one and you are present again into table one. So that is the advantage of creating a table. Now, another advantage is what if you want to add a single column or you want to add multiple columns to this already existing table, then how can you do that? You can scroll to the bottom of your table. Then here you can see this is this option. You can extend it and you can see that these columns have been added. Similarly, to add multiple rows, you can extend it towards the, the downside and you can see that these rows have been added. Now, if you want, you can enter the data in these rows. And if you want, you can also create a column enter some data in the column. You can see that it's created by the heading column. So you can 
if you want uh, resize it back like this and like this or you can just simply press ctrl z and ctrl z like this okay now this is the advantage of uh, tables now uh, let us go with the design tab and see what all we can do with it so here is our design tab first option is resize table now what is this option if you go to it then whole of your table is selected now if i select that i do not want to show order date or i do not want to include order date in my table then what can i do is just um actually change its data range like this leaving this order date column i have changed my data range from the order date column but one thing is to be noted that you must include the table headers so i have included all these headers and then click on ok then you can see that uh, from the order date all these filters option have been removed and if you just click on anything in this order dates option then your design tab is not visible anymore but if you click on this then this design tab is visible means this is a part of the table and order date is no longer part of the table similarly if you just click on this table one then you can see that order date is not highlighted means it is not a part of table one so i'm just going to press ctrl z and again order date is now a part of table one so that is how you can resize a pivot table sorry a table then going to the design tab we have some other options so we are going to table style options we are going to understand it as it is pretty simple first is the header row if we have selected it then this is the row that has been connected or concerned as a header so if you just uncheck it then it has gone but if you check it it becomes visible once again similarly if there is a totals row you want to add a totals row you can just check on it and you can see that this totals row has been added for this totals column okay but if you don't want to include it you can just uncheck it or toggle it similarly there is an option of banded rows which uh, you can check or uncheck like this okay then there is an option of first column so this is what it is doing it highlights the first column simply then it can also highlight this last column options we have this banded columns option like this we can choose it then there is filter button if you do not want to show the filter button then you can uncheck it from here if you want to show it you can bring it from here so that is how you can play with tables uh, and apply all these options in Microsoft Excel so the next thing arises is um, what if you want to change its formatting you can go to this styles option and all these formattings are available so you can apply any of these formattings that you want that you like so I'm going to go with this blue formatting I really like it now the formatting is applied the next thing is um, let's come to this tools tab here what we have is summarized with pivot table option which is nothing but an extension of uh, the pivot table which we were creating up till now so this table one is selected as the range and if you want to select a table in the existing worksheet then click on any location click on ok and from the order rows and items i want to create a pivot table so you can see that for each year the count of the items is visible and that's simply to create a pivot table out of this table then again if you go to the design tab then there is this option of remove duplicates how does it works if you see all these records with gold color these are actually duplicated records okay jill purchase binder 46 units each cost is this total is this so these are these duplicate records and similar is with harvard records so what we are going to do is just click on this remove duplicates option uh, then you can select all these options and make sure that the select all option is checked because it will remove all the uh, values from all these columns okay and make sure you also check this my data has headers and once you click on ok you will get this kind of option eight duplicate values found and removed 28 unique values remain you can see now only they have one thing one record for jill and one record for harvard's binder as well so that's how you can remove it to duplicates now uh, that's all these things you can do with a table
but what if you want to convert it back to a range of cells then how can you go with it in the design tab only there is this option given convert to range if you just click on it then it will ask you do you want to convert the table to a normal range select yes and it has now converted to a normal range to check it you can just see that there is no table one present over here so that is about all those things that you can do with a table in microsoft excel and with this you have also understood that what is actually the advantage of creating a table in microsoft excel that's all for this video thanks for watching